free. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, hit newsletters. It's on the left-hand side. Hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. You get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So Basil has a great amount of archives over there. He has, a, a, and inside those archives, there was webinars or an understanding of how he reads the market, how that Chapman wave rides the market each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Uh, well, it's not going on. It's going down, I guess. That's what we're looking at. Uh, if you're looking at the Dow, down 290. So I thought I'd go through uh, some of the uh, what I've been talking to you about just, I mean, for weeks. I don't know how long it's been, but I've been mentioning to you that there's a particular technique, a couple of techniques that I like to use. I use them all the time, even intraday. But this is something that uh, is really fascinating. And what I'd say to you is if you look at the 9 and the 14 period exponential moving averages, and I've got a white background chart here, and the gray line is just the closing price of the Dow. Um, so they're just three lines. In fact, let me just take this out. So there really are only three lines there. OK. So for a very long time, um, I've used a particular technique where I, I try to identify what I call, it's like an earthquake and an aftershock. And on the top, it's I call it the uh, internal high and then the residual high. And it can be a little higher or a little lower than the left, just like an aftershock can be sometimes less than the earthquake in power and sometimes more. So when I identified this, we were somewhere over here in about the 24th of uh, July, and I said, it's amazing. I'm starting to get signals in the Dow that says, using other indicators, that we are starting to get overbought, but that nine period moving average refuses to go down, go pink underneath the black moving average. And as long as it's holding well, it means that there's just still some strength in the Dow. So as we're looking at it right now, I'll show you. This is the Dow. Yes. That left side, right side. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, I'm talking about the internal high and the residual high. And using a different Chapman Wave technique, we managed to get the August the 1st high in the Dow. So we actually are short. I do have call longs from October of 22. I even have, we still have a call long from uh, 2020 in the diamonds. So what I'm looking at here is, we are so close to cross. We could do it today. If the market closes, uh, it's a down 298. If it closes at about another 60 or 80 points down, we're going to be really close to finally turning down. But using this particular technique, and actually I, I, I spoke to Tommy a little earlier. I'm going to be setting up a, a webinar for subscribers based on these techniques. Nice. Uh, coming up in about a week, uh, maybe Wednesday a week. We'll, we'll just finalize it today. So look at the S&P. That already... Cross negative. This is the daily chart. So you cross negative. Look at the QQQ. Cross negative. Look at the IWM. Very deeply negative with a very serious price decline. So as and look at the SMHs. Uh, this is the semiconductors. Tried to add a spectacular rally yesterday, and then it's given back a huge chunk today. Um, and you can see that pink. So now I'll go to the real charts right over here, and I'll show you the same thing. And I'm going to explain why I didn't get really overcommitted to the downside in the Dow. We are short, but the SMHs, that's a different picture altogether. And, you know, you and I have discussed this, I think, for years and years, how the semis tend to lead us to the upside and lead us to the downside, yes. not us, the, the market generally. And I've always spoken about uh, the, the chips, the semiconductor chips, are really the oil of the 21st century because you had oil through the 1900s, which was imperative for almost everything economic, and now you've got the semiconductor. So it's really important to monitor. So using the same, the te same techniques, we actually got short uh, the semiconductor. The 161.17 was the high on the 31st of July, so using this little doji candle and the measurement of this vertical, I know you use the same vertical analysis for your, your 
volume charts, and I use it using the uh, indicators as well. And you can see that the high that was made on the, uh, I think it's the four, uh, the 18th of all of July, 160.79, um, had very had much much stronger technicals than when it went to this fractionally higher high of 161.17 on the 31st. The other thing that I'm, I talk about and I'll, I'll be showing in this webinar is how often you can go months. I mean, look at this, 159.42 was the high in November of 2021 in the semiconductor uh, event and semiconductor ETF. It plummets down to 83 and then comes all the way back. And where does it stop? Um, less than two points from the high of November, all-time high, but less than two points away from the 2021 high. I don't know how that works. It's just amazing. And now- It is amazing. Looking, yeah. We're looking at the same thing on the downside with uh, bonds. We're actually looking at that at, uh, with gold. So um, I waited a day for the semiconductor to see if it made a lower high, which it did. And before the open on the, uh, on the 2nd of August, because we had already shorted on the first, shorted the Dow, um, we went short uh, quite aggressively, actually short the SMH and the SOXS, which is the three times long short position of the SMH. We took really nice profits on Friday um, and Monday, early yesterday morning, and we've actually just added back to that position uh, this morning. So I'm anticipating that if I want you to show you this because here's the daily chart on the left. Here's the weekly. I haven't even got a, a sell signal in the weekly a semiconductor or the monthly. If you look at the yeah, we, it, it's interesting, Basil. It's like we got a real sloppy market, you know, in general, right? It, it, and it's, it's as if each sector really has to do some consolidating of the huge gains, like the XLK, like those tech stocks. But this is interesting because if I have to, I say to subscribers, we're going to monitor now to see whether or not. The Dow finally makes that pink nine period moving average to get a sell. It's in a sell signal to get a sell mode. That's just a description. It doesn't say, oh, sell mode is going all the way down to whatever. It just says that's a designation. And But the weekly chart, look how strong it is. Look how strong the monthly chart of the Dow is. So I say to subscribe, we're going to have to watch this carefully because we might find the, the Dow finally goes pink. But the others have really had quite a bit of a pullback. So we could be close to some kind of a bounce, and that's what we have to monitor. But in the meantime, well, you know, you it's, you might get your number in the Dow today because this S and P is going after its lows kind of early for the day. Oh, I think we're close, you know? pretty much at the low today. I think. Right, but I it's gonna it's gonna blow them away right now. That's my point. Yeah. That, right. right, and I show I said just uh, in the den I typed in this to say that if uh, oh yeah oh well yeah we are I said if 45, 50, 4452 and the S and P E mini goes. Um, that could accelerate the move to the downside so the Dow could actually also go negative. Yeah, this is a, oh, it's looking very ugly on the very short term. But these are all daily charts that I see that got the sell signals. As I say, the weeklies haven't done anything yet. So as I say, we'll be putting up a webinar very soon. Listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, the opening call. Basil, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much. John. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report.